Hey everyone and welcome back to Melbourne Railway Videos. I'm here today at Keon Park Station on the Mernda Line. We've got a Flinders Street service departing. And we've got a Mernda serving or a service arriving now. It's just about to pass over the level crossing, which is clearly about to be removed. I'll get to that in a few moments once this train has come and gone. Seventy five M is leading. One six one M is at the rear. It'll stop next to Thomas Town, followed by Layla, Epping, South Morang, Middle Gorge, Hawkstow, and Mernda. Okay, now for a bit of a look around the place. So, on the right is the first of the elevated tracks. Um, you might recall if you watched my videos um, for the Preston level crossing removals that what they did is they actually, <coughs> excuse me, they actually only built one of the tracks first so they could run the entire Mernda line on that track, just through a bit of single track operation. And the purpose of doing that, rather than just, you know, closing the line for a bit, is because they really need to keep the maintenance facility at Epping open. Because it's just got that many extrapolis trains there that you can't afford to close it for too long. Um, so, what will happen is, they will start running trains on this line to the left. Um, the truck's actually already in place, you have to take my word for it. You can actually see on the way into this station. Um, and clearly the overhead wirings, I mean, it's not in yet, but the um, cantilever things are, or pa I've forgotten the term for it, I'll call them cantilevers. Um, they're in place, staunchons is probably the best term. Staunchons are in place, but the wires aren't quite. Um, I think on the level crossing removal website, it says that this station will close on the 21st of January, 2024. Um, so I'm not sure when I'm gonna upload this video, but um, yeah, it's, it's quite soon. Um, and it, it definitely looks like this bridge is pretty much good to go. Just needs a tiny bit of track work. Um, now, and then I will show you soon the other segment, the second rail bridge, um, which by the looks of things is just gonna run smack bang where this platform is. This refuge thing on the side here, I, it doesn't seem to be for anything. Like they're not gonna run the bridge all the way out here. Um, they're actually going to run it where the platform is. Keon Park truly is a station in dire need of an upgrade. Um, obviously they've <laughs> allowed it to become this dilapidated because they're upgrading it, but geez, look at the state of this. Like this is genuinely dangerous trying to walk onto trains and not trip as you're getting on. The surface here is just shocking. Um, some other stations, Ruthven and um, Layla used to look like this in terms of their surfaces, but they got an upgrade. Keon Park didn't because it's about to get this new station anyway. Um, but yeah, it's just funny how bad they've left it. Notice the shape of this staunchion. Um, it's been designed especially so it can fit in with the bridge being under construction. Here's a bit of a look at what the station will look like, or at least the un the um, part underneath the station. Nice little public parks. Currently they've got a, mon a monkey machine here. 
Hey, Fire, which are actually free these days, and so on. As you can see, it's extremely basic. There's hardly any shelter at all. Here's a look at what the station's plan to um, look like, its design. It's going to be very slick. So, very much looking forward to its opening. Alright, we've got the level crossings down. Just while the train's coming in, I'd like you to note this huge pylon which is smack bang in the middle of the road. That's because that's where the rail bridge is going to go. It's going to go right over where the, um, the current platform is. So that's why they're going to just demolish the old platform. Um, and Keon Park Station will be closed for some period of time for those works. It's interesting the way the train weaves its way into this station. You can see it's actually disappeared out of view. It's weird that they didn't just design it to have a straight track in the first place. Uh, Mernda service to the right and a Flinders Street service to the left. See the extent of you know just how busy this road is. It's a huge arterial road. Marnie's Road is its name. Um, yeah, it, it'll take you. Okay, it becomes Keon Parade. Um, but yeah, it takes you out to Greensboro. And this is towards Broad Meadows. Another train coming through. It's not in service. Here's a view underneath the pylons on the southern side of the station, on the opposite side of Marnie's Road. One of them's already been graffitied, unfortunately, but you can't really help these things. I quite like the um, transit-oriented development that's taken place on this side. It's good to see lots of apartments built close to a train station. It really should be the template for the rest of Melbourne. Um, you know, it's just a sensible way of housing people, and we need a lot more houses. Um, so I think I should give this station its rating um, and it's going to be pretty low. I think it, oh, I'm tossing up between a 2 and a 3. I'm going to give it a 3. Now that might seem a bit harsh, um, especially since it's a bit of a construction site, but it was pretty terrible even before it was a construction site, let's be honest. I mean, there was, there's, was never really anything here shelter-wise. It's sort of the bare minimum station. You've got the aesthetic of main, a main road here, a level crossing on a very main road here, um, this huge ugly power station, um, not to mention the declining state of the station platforms, which were like that before works were even planned here. Maybe not as bad, but um, even so, yeah, it, it's a pretty neglected station. So for now, it gets a three. Um, but obviously that's going to change pretty soon. I dare say the new station could be looking at something way up the other side of the scale based on those designs if they come to fruition. So definitely something to look forward to if you're a um, Keon Park resident. I do find it interesting that they've only decided to install this one solitary pylon for the second bridge. You know, it's literally the only one. If you move around to this side, there aren't any more pylons, it's just that one. So it's strange that they did it when they did, but I guess it's a bit of foresight, they'd only have to shut the road once. Looking down this way, you can see where the bridge 
um, declines, if you can use that word, um, back towards the ground. As I said, the tracks are actually in place on the bridge itself. It just needs to be connected to the current rail corridor, so that'll happen pretty soon. Keon Park's got bus connections, so perhaps that's another reason for it getting a three over a two. <laughs> um, yeah, that's route triple five. Um, if we move to this side, I uh, probably won't be able to get it in view. Maybe just, I don't know if you can make that out. That's for the 902, the smart bus through to Airport West. Got another murder service coming. That illustrates my point from before. You can see how far the tracks really sort of slew out and then slew back in. And it was just designed that way for whatever reason. And then they slew back out again to accommodate the island platform. and 9am. I think I might conclude the video there. Thanks for watching this video and um, yeah, keep posted because I will be back here once Keon Park Station opens that, or reopens. Um, but it, they're saying on the website 2025. I reckon it'll be done a bit before then. But um, I'll definitely get back here whenever it is redone at last. Alright, see you next time. Thanks.